Who is subject to GST? It must be, there, there, there must be four questions to ask to see whether you are subject to goods uh, and services tax. What are the four questions? Number one, it must be a taxable supply. So it must be a taxable supply, number one. Number two, it must be made by a taxable person. What do you mean by a taxable person? Taxable person would be those whereby you're having a turnover of 5,000 and above a year. So you must be doing 5,000 and above turnover a year to be under taxable person. And it must be cause of, of furtherance of any business. So it must be for the purpose of business. And lastly, it must be in Malaysia. So these are the important four questions to ask. You must fulfill all these four questions to ensure that you, ha you have to register for GST. So it got to be taxable supply, taxable person, it must be in the course of business, and it must be in Malaysia. So all these four questions got to be yes, 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 and then you, are, you have to register for GST. So GST is, of course, also charged on imported goods and services. So whenever you buy overseas, be it goods or services, is also subject to GST. So it's the same thing, yeah? Take note, the four questions we mentioned just now. It must be taxable person, taxable supply, it must be in, must be in Malaysia, and it must be in the course of business. One example, one example whereby, uh, take note that today we are talking about GST Act. And now we will talk as GST Act really because yesterday was gazetted. So don't confuse GST Act with Income Tax Act. Income Tax Act 1967 is totally different. So Income Tax Act got the definition for business. For GST, we also got the definition for business. So when you go and talk to the customs officer, GST will be regulated by customs department. Don't tell them about Income Tax Act. They said, they want nothing to do with us. Likewise, when you go to Income Tax Department, don't talk to them about GST Act because, again, they'll say nothing to do with us. So income tax is regulated by Inland Revenue Board, IRB. GST is regulated by Customs Department. So these are two separate bodies having different acts. One is Income Tax Act, 1967, and the other one is GST Act, 2014. So don't confuse these two, yeah? So importation of goods, uh, GST is charged at point of imports. What does that mean? When you buy things from overseas, when you buy things from when you buy goods from overseas, then it be it be held at the custom side. You need to pay custom duty. You need to pay import duties, and of course, cost of the goods. Bear in mind, GST will be the last item. What does that mean? Let's say you buy something, the cost of the goods will be at, let's say, 1,000. And then you have your excise duty, let's say, and then you have your custom duties, whatever the amount. Then you have your subtotal. Take note, uh, GST is the last item, 6%. So, what does this tell you? GST will be imposed on the cost of the goods, 1,000. GST will also be imposed on your excise duties. GST will also be imposed on your custom duties. GST is the last line in the computation. So, don't think that the GST part will only be for cost of your goods. It will apply also to excise duty, custom duties. Everything inside there, you need to pay 6%. Yeah? 